David, welcome to uh, Lauren Football Club. You're relieved and, and glad, I'm sure, that everything's sorted and uh, signed and, and you're officially a Lord player. Absolutely. Uh, delighted to obviously get the le- uh, the deal over the line. Um, can't wait to get going. Yeah, and it's it's been a bit of speculation over the, the last few weeks and I'm sure you're obviously not sort of oblivious to that as well. So as a player, yeah. as you say, it is nice just to get things finalised and done. Of course, you know, uh, as a player, I just try to stay out of... Um, all the uh the, in the media stuff and uh just want to concentrate on um look, looking forward to, to getting to know the teammates and obviously speaking to the gaffer and can't wait to just be on the pitch and, and, and help the team as much as i can that way yeah i'm sure whenever the, the possibility of, of coming to lauren came about i'm sure you, you took quite a keen interest in what was happening at the club over the summer and the european exploits and and all of that um you were you were impressed i'm sure just with kind of what what, what the club have done in, in europe this summer of course, yeah. Obviously, the European stuff was just just to top off. Um, I think that Lon did exceptionally well last season. Obviously, they were in the two cup finals. Um, did well in the league as well. The style of football I think suits me to to the T. Um, and then to, you know the campaign in Europe it speaks for itself. Uh, to to go out to Denmark and perform like that, and and obviously to get the result at home against the Welsh team and against the Portuguese team as well. Um, so. Really impressive. As soon as you know there was interest, uh, it was something that I was delighted to 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 have, um, and I'm, I'm just glad that I'm here now and we can push forward. Yeah, you, you touched on it in terms of maybe the style of play and, and you know what Lauren probably is, is known for trying to do you know, week in week out. Is that something that has been a, a big attraction in terms of you know wanting to to join in with that and, and wanting to, to to be a part of that as a player? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm a I'm a football man myself. I live and breathe football, so. Um, being being someone from the outside looking in, I think I've I've been impressed by the way um, the team sets up, the way the clubs run, um, and I'm obviously as I said, I'm, I'm delighted to be a part of that, and I, and I feel like I can only thrive in this this environment, and hopefully it'll be a successful one. Yeah, and, and presumably sort of Tiernan has talked to you and, and outlined his plans, and maybe where he sees you fitting in as well, and, and I'm sure that that's always a, a major plus as a player, just you know where, where a manager sees you and, and wants you to, to be involved in. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think over the last few seasons, um, I've operated as a 10 um, and I prefer, you know, playing centrally. I can play out wide as well. So, you know, he's talked to me through a different few formations that he'd like to play. Um, and within those formations, there's a few different positions I think that I can, that I can occupy and help the team out. So um, I think, you know, I'm looking forward to next week getting uh, on the training pitch, seeing how um, those systems work. And then, you know, we can take it from there and, and see how my ability can fit in uh, to those styles. Yeah, and this will be your third consecutive Irish League season coming up. So, you know, you're certainly no stranger to the league and the level and maybe yeah. what's demanded and, and kind of required week in, week out. And I suppose, you know, you you, you learn as you go and, and you you find out more about the, the league and, and yourself. You, now you've had that bit of experience under your belt. Yeah, of course. You know, it, it sometimes you get a lot of stick for the obviously the transfers that have, that have happened. But as a professional athlete and as a sports person, I think you just have to take on the chin sometimes. And I think the success um, can can speak over it, all, all the controversy and stuff. At the end of the day, you know, I think I've spent um, eighteen months, sixteen months here in Northern Ireland now, and um, you know, I've picked up three three major honours. So um, hopefully now we can add that on. Uh, I know what it takes to be part of a successful environment, successful team. Um, and, and now hopefully we can replicate that alone and, and, and produce some success for the club. Yeah, and, and you know, over the last number of years, Lauren have made good progress in terms of championship to the premiership, you know, making progress in the, the league positions. You said the, the two cup finals last year, one of which we won, and then European football. And I suppose you you know you 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 you, you want to join a club where there's that sense of moving forward and progress and momentum, and, and that's that's a big thing we want to continue. Yeah, definitely, you know. Progression is, is is vital for a club who wants to take the next step. And I feel like Lon is doing everything in in the right manner, in the right way to take the club to the next level. And whether that's been from the championship to the premiership and then obviously achieving European spots. Um, and, and likewise, to build in a squad that is, that is sustainable for the future uh, is something that I think the club's done really well. Um, and hopefully we can see that progression happen. And as, as you say, we can have more successful European campaigns and hopefully pick up some titles along the way. Yeah, and uh, your time in the Irish League will obviously sort of know the, the strengths of the other teams and it, it makes for a very you know, exciting premiership. You have the teams who finished above us last year and even those who, who were below and are going to push very hard. So league kicks off next Friday and it's, you know, it's a really exciting time for the Irish League in general. 
yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like the league now, probably from what I've heard over the last few years, it's, it's the best it's ever been. It's the most competitive it's ever been. There's um, there's a lot of teams that um, will, will challenge for those top places. So I'm just excited and raring to go and see what happens. And it's good to get um, sort of the transfer done and, and time for the new season. Obviously, you know, European football has been there, but the, the, the start of the league season is nice to be in and, and get settled and, uh, you know, have a, a full campaign ahead of you as a player. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just glad, obviously, we got it done in time. So now I can spend a whole week training with the team um, and we're ready for that for that first game. Um, I think we've got the European campaigns over the way now um, and just look forward to the season ahead. I think I'm right in saying you made your debut for Glen Torn against Coleraine and, and got a goal. So it'd be, be nice if you could replicate yeah. that next Friday. Absolutely. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what happens. I think, yeah, um, it was back in October 2019 when I first came over. And yeah, first game was Coleraine. Um, so let's do it again. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, Nevin. Cheers, Ian. Thank you, mate.